The Federal Consolidated Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act, or COBRA, offers employees and their eligible dependents the opportunity to temporarily extend their group health coverage in certain instances where coverage under the SHBP or SEHBP would otherwise end. Employees enrolled in SHBP or SEHBP are eligible for COBRA if their previous coverage ends due to a reduction in working hours, leave of absence, or termination of employment for reasons other than gross misconduct. Dependents are eligible for continued coverage due to death of the employee, election of Medicare as the employee's primary insurance, or divorce or dissolution of a civil union or domestic partnership. The length of COBRA coverage depends on the nature of your eligibility for COBRA. For loss of coverage due to termination of employment, reduction of hours, or leave of absence, COBRA coverage lasts up to 18 months. If you receive a Social Security disability determination for an illness or injury you had within 60 days of COBRA enrollment, coverage lasts an additional 11 months or a maximum of 29 months of COBRA coverage. For loss of coverage due to dependent ineligibility, either due to the death of the member, divorce or dissolution, or over age limits, continuation for dependent coverage is 36 months. Remember, it is the responsibility of the employee and or dependent to keep the employer and the division informed of any address changes, COBRA qualifying events, and COBRA extension qualifying events. COBRA benefit members are also responsible for the full cost of the COBRA coverage, which must be sent to the appropriate address. COBRA coverage will terminate if the previous employer no longer provides SHBP or SEHBP coverage to its employees, the member becomes eligible for Medicare, the member fails to pay the COBRA premiums, or the eligible continuation period ends. For more information, see fact sheet number 30 on our website.